Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boy and Zillabic here. So, are you looking for a way to edit your videos more efficiently and are wondering if the speed editor might be for you? Stay tuned. This is the Speed Editor by Blackmagic Design. This is a DaVinci only video editing keyboard that was designed to work primarily with the cut page within DaVinci Resolve. The device itself can be connected either by using a USB-C cable or via the built-in Bluetooth. The keyboard has a really nice and big wheel allowing you to go through your source clips or the timeline. And it has all the main buttons needed for editing such as play pause, in and out points, cut, append and so on. It is also designed to work for multicam editing with a huge amount of options. This keyboard really has everything you need to get editing. Now let's take a closer look at the basic features. Alright guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you the basics of this guy here. So first of all, you need to decide whether or not you're going to be in the source fol folder or work on the timeline. So first, let's go into the source folder. And uh, this is where you can find all your raw clips. And uh, you use this wheel here to go through it. So right now we are on scroll. You can select jog if you want to basically uh, go through it uh, um, slower. And then you can select this guy here if you want to go through it faster. So you can see this is a uh, time 64 speed, uh, 19, 4, and so on. So let's select jog. Okay, so let's say we want to start here. Uh, if you want to, this is your in point, you select in point right here, and you can hit, uh, hit the play button here, go through it. Let's say this is the out point, boom, out point. And now you just go append, and it's on your timeline. And if you want to go to the timeline, you can now scroll through it and uh, that's that and then you can add more clips to it now let's say if you wanna uh, I don't know let's say you wanna split this uh, clip right here as long as you're on the timeline sim simply hit split boom now you got two clips right here and you can do that as many times as you want you can add more clips all that stuff now let's say you wanna add starting here let's say you wanna add a clip on top right so you go back to source and you keep scrolling um, wherever you want. Let's say, I don't know. Okay, let's say here. Let's start here and let's go until here. And now you hit the um, place on top. Literally says what it needs to do. Boom, you got that clip on top now. Excellent. And you can go back to the timeline, right? Do whatever you want. And, uh, you know, it's pretty quick. Works very nicely. Next, I want to talk about this close-up button here, which is a very interesting one. Let's say you want uh, I don't know starting here you want uh, this to be a close-up then you go close up and all of a sudden that same clip will be placed above uh, yeah I'm on the timeline so starting here and it's just gonna zoom in now in this case it looks crappy because that's not designed for it so this is great for interview if you have a person in a wide shot and you want to quickly zoom in boom you do it this way and it works very nicely as you can see there are tons of options here that you can choose from i'm just kind of giving you a very quick brief overview uh basically this middle section here is mostly for um uh, multicam so if you're not gonna work with that you know this is there's not much here for you um up here kind of you have your your basic uh, settings your basic uh, features that you can work with which will definitely work very nicely and same here trim uh, uh, um, clip in uh, out all that good stuff uh, this will allow you to be very very quick in your editing now let's ask the question who is this guy for up until recently this um, wasn't as important because um, up until recently you could buy DaVinci if you wanted to buy DaVinci Resolve the studio version it would cost you I believe it was $299 US uh, so you could buy the software or you could buy the speed uh, editor and you would get the software included so it was really no-brainer just buy that package and if you don't like it just sell the, the keyboard and all good however recently uh, Blackmagic changed that so it's no longer $299 uh, I believe it's $359 I'll put the price on on screen uh, the ex exact price but it's more bottom line it's more so now we got to wonder 
um, you know, do I really need this thing? Should I spend the extra well over $100 or not? So let's talk about who is this designed for and who it isn't. So first of all, there's a few questions you got to ask yourself. Do you work uh, only with DaVinci Resolve or do you work with, let's say, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro or Final Cut or whatever the case might be? If the answer is you only work it with DaVinci Resolve, okay, good, then this might be for you. If the answer is no, I work with more, uh, this is probably not for you because this only works with DaVinci Resolve and especially with the cut page. Now, you can use it in the edit page as well, but this is really designed for the cut page. So that that's uh, question number one to ask, right? And then um, the second question is how do you edit? So for example, do you use the mouse to edit um, or do you use like myself to use the graphics tablet? I, I barely touch the mouse. Uh, I use the graphics tablet to do all my rough cuts and well, everything, right? Or are you a person who uses shortcut keys to assemble the rough cut? So if you are the latter, you are uh, uh, using the shortcut keys to assemble the rough cut and you work primarily in the cut page, you are the target audience of this device. You're definitely going to have a great time assembling your rough cut and even going beyond just a rough cut because you can do a lot more than what I showed here. So I only gave you a rough idea of what this thing can do. So these are the questions important to ask if you want to know if this thing works for you, right? Um, for, for me personally, this doesn't work because I work in both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So problem right there. And as I mentioned, I use um, uh, the stylus, the, 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 the graphics pen, graphics tablet to assemble my cuts. And uh, I do use uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, shortcut um, uh, keys and all that stuff. Uh, but in my case, again, I need a device that works on multiple, uh, within multiple applications. So in my case, I have the Neo Box um, that uh, I did a review on it a while ago. Uh, and uh, check it out if you're interested in that. Uh, that definitely works for me. It's a great device and um, it works for my needs. However, like I said, your needs will vary. It all depends how you approach editing. If you are, uh, as I mentioned, in the categories that I mentioned, uh, you should definitely check this thing out. Um, if you're not, then just get the uh, standalone application if you are looking for DaVinci Resolve Studio and you're going to have a great time. So that's that, guys. I hope this video helped you guys to decide. Uh, whether or not the speed editor is for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, links to everything uh, will be in the description if you are looking uh, for this guy. And um, that's that. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, tell your friends all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.